Today, I finally have finished the one project that I've been working so hard to get done for Christmas. And this was a gift for one of my very good friends. It's an album, and I've never done an album before, and I've never attempted anything that had this much um, in-depth detail to it. So with that being said, I'll go over some of my hits and misses, some of the things that worked, some of the things that didn't work, and I'll start off by telling you that the paper I used was this 6x6 paper pad from Christmas Wonderland by Stephen Duncan and hopefully you can see that really well and it had a lot of neat different patterns where you'll see them and I also used uh, some filler paper from the pads that were um, on the two dollar Michaels I think they're from Reflections I don't know but it was the two dollar packs that uh, Michaels was selling one of the first things that I really wanted to be able to do was use my crocodile and we talked long and hard about whether or not I would be able to do this and do it on projects and I have been able to do it although I see one of mine have already come loose but um, I will I am going to show you how I use the crocodile and and how it worked for me this is the one that punches holes and sets um, brads and eyelets so that's my or eyelets I guess that's my scoop. So what I did was I took this, um, I'll get this out of the way. I took this um, mitten pattern, it was a cardboard mitten, and I covered it with paper. Then on this one I surrounded it with some uh, silver kind of foily thread, I guess we'll call it. And then there's a girl on YouTube that made mitten uh, a mitten album a long time ago, like six years ago. And she used this furry stuff on the bottom of it. And I really liked it. And I did send her an email asking her for permission to use it, but I haven't heard back from her. But um, I am going to, in the comments, I will tell you who it was. Uh, her name, it wasn't like a name, it was a name and number. So um, thank you, whoever you were, for the fuzzy, um, I guess this was some kind of feather, maybe turkey feathers, I'm not exactly sure, but I got it at Joann's. And um, this was a, a tag that I just covered with bling and a sticker. So on the back of this one, I used the pattern from um, the Michaels, pattern that was just a generic and I did use distress ink all the way around everything and it was not old paper I had it laying here I'll put that in the comments too I'm so sorry I don't have that right here for some reason I'm thinking it's shabby shutters but that could be a lie anyway I did go around the outside you can see I distressed everything with that on to the next one what I did with this is I put these two little um, stickers on that I got at, at Michael's and you can slide a photo in there so I thought that'd be cute and these are brads that I stuck underneath it and this is from that paper pad that we talked about oh and there's uh, one of the eyelets that I put in there all by myself and we'll talk about that later then this is the page I think I'm the most proud of I'm sorry that I'm I'm kind of I don't want to mess up my books so I'm not exactly sure how to play with it um, this page what I started to do is I wanted to do like a little mini album so what I did was I tried to do it with magnets and there are magnets in here but I hope you can see this there's little pages and each page has a little embellishment and a little ribbon on it and I and I did use I have a stamp from Stampin' Up that's a journal stamp that I love and I just stamp little lines on each of these so that she could write little notes about the Christmas and the A in the front is her daughter's first initial so I'm giving that away and then uh, go on to this page uh, and that page was also the paper from it both of these papers was from the Christmas Wonderland and this is a little Brad that I got and um, these are just uh, chipboard initials that I got exactly like that I didn't do anything to then this little this is also uh, the 
paper from the book and I put little brads. I don't know if you can see this little brad, but that is a little jingle bell. It doesn't really bell, bell much. Hold on. You know, you can't really get it to bell. And then I'll pull out one of the tags on the back of the tags. If you can see that, I put the the information and then the front of the tag I made to match the paper that it was in in the book. And sticking it back in might be the tricky part because of the ring. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that noise was really important, wasn't it? Had to do that noise for you. Then this is page. The back of this one, these are photo stickers. And uh, I figured she could just put, put her pictures under and do the photo with it. This page I left blank because I thought it was so cute just by itself, but if she wants to stick a photo on that, she certainly could. And then the back of it has another journaling page. <coughs> that one has, the, that little embellishment gets stuck every time I pull it out. Of course, I made that noise for you again. I don't know why. And I just put a little bit of stickles on this and again another one of those little things and these are fuzzy brads that I thought were just so darn cute and the back of this one I put another little embellishment so that one that's why it's kind of hard to get in because it has that sequin that makes it a little bit higher oh and I don't know if you saw but I cut little half circles out of these to make sure they were you can really see it on this one I put the little half circle so it's easier to pull out the the um this card and then on the back of this one, I put a little candy cane and a little star, and then I stickled them. And then hopefully I'll get it back in its little holder. And here's a funny story. When I was, yeah, I'll leave that out. When I was doing this, this star attached to this. So I don't know if you can see the um, the um, stickle star in the background. So I had to put that there just to cover it up. I didn't know what else to do. Then I had these uh, brads that already were um, glittery, so I thought that was cool. And then this page is just poinsettias and uh, ribbon. Then this is th their last name initial. And it was supposed to be, because I'm not really talented when it comes to figuring things out, that was supposed to be the first page. And for some reason, I put it on the back of it instead of the front, which made no sense. But um, I ended up making it an inside page but I really liked this as my back page and this was a sticker from Michaels and I really liked it and again back to the the furry stuff and that's my album oh I put a little bit of t of uh, really pretty ribbons that I got I uh, bought a bunch of ribbons from eBay from a lovely lady that um, was so sweet about everything and she said if you use my if you use any of my ribbons let me know and I thought oh I'll definitely do that because they're so beautiful and one of her ribbons is so gorgeous I can't wait to use it and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, give you a preview of that later but I do want to show you before I go I do want to show you how I used the crop it up here it is <clears throat> it is a serious tool it is not for the faint of heart and it's seriously not that easy to use if you don't um, really think it through properly Okay, I'm going to use, what I decided I would do is use a brad that you could really, really see. And the first thing that uh, I did, I made a mark in the middle of the hole because these, um, I don't know if you know anything about these, when you get these cardboard things, they come with the hole already uh, put into them. So when you push your paper, then you have to figure out a way to make your paper work with it. So. What I did was, I punched a hole, I don't know if you can see that hole, and then what I did, because I wanted to be able to really see this well, what I did was, I, let's assume that I glued this paper down, because I forgot to. Then what I did was, one of these is a smaller hole, and one is a bigger hole. And the bigger hole is what you're shooting for when you're using this. And pardon me if my head's in the way. But what I did was I looked for where my little circle that I punched out is. And then with holding it down, I just did that. And do you see the great hole it made in that? Isn't that fabulous? Then I found this out about these. 
every time I did it, I ended up with paper jammed in there and, I, and it doesn't just come out. So my recommendation is use your pokey tool or whatever and get the paper out because you need to see through that hole every time you do something. So then when I did my, my eyelets, what I did, and I'm using a very orange eyelet so you can see it really well. What you do with that is you put it, the, um, there's a hole, wait, I'll see if you can see it this way. Can you see that there's a little, I'll point to it with the pokey tool, uh, there's a little bar on this side and then there's a, the place that it lands again on that side. So the way you want to do it is you want to have your bar on top and the other part on the bottom because you want the, the bottom to be where it, for lack of a better word, smashes the bottom of the eyelet to flatten it out. So I've got my eyelet in my hole with my paper and my cardboard. Then what I did was I laid it up against that and then I watched to see that my my little bar came in the same spot and then using both hands you just smash down on it. And there can you see that? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, I, it's in there. It's in there secure and for good. Apparently I missed the hole when I punched it the first time, but um, but my hole is in there and it did a great job. My um, crocodile did a great job of uh, smashing it through. I did have a little problem with some of them with, well for instance, that flower we, uh, or the star on the very top. I had trouble with some of them because they weren't, I'll call it, deep enough to go through all of this material. So I think what I'm going to do in the end is just hot glue that to it so that it stays because I couldn't, I smashed that more than once. Crop a doll. I don't know, what, what's the term? I don't know. Whatever the term is, I did it more than once and I still couldn't get that star to stay the way I wanted it to. So that was my really big project. It took me a really long time to do this. And if you know anything about working with this stuff, it gets in everything. My glue gun is covered with these little hairs. And so I do recommend that you clean your glue gun afterwards. And I just saw a tutorial with uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, where she cleaned her glue gun with um, a, big, a big ball of... Um, aluminum foil. What she did is she balled up her aluminum foil while her glue gun was hot and she wiped wiped off the tip and wiped off the, the gunk that was on it and cleaned it. So I'm going to try that sometime because mine's got a lot of this little fuzz on it. So that was my very first album. I'm going to do more albums because I really like the idea and I hope my friend likes it. Okay, it's um, you know my girlfriend Cora that helped me on the on the two projects. It's for Cora. I'm sure she will like it because she's so crafty. But she'll especially like it because um, there's things in there for her daughter Abby. So uh, I'm really excited about it. We always have our Christmas after Christmas because we never can seem to get it in before Christmas. But that's our project. I hope you like it. I hope you give me a thumbs up, even though I'm late. But um, I do promise that. I'm going to start getting better about getting my videos in on a timely basis for you that um, Christmas things will come before Christmas rather than after. But last thing is I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to make gift bags that are personalized and fun. So we're going to do some fun gift bags and that will be our next tutorial. So I hope you watch that and please subscribe and tell your friends. Give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Thank you.